Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. If you're a fan of great movie thrillers, this is not the time to leave TCM for any reason whatsoever. That's also true if you're a fan of Ingrid Bergman, Charles Boyer, Joseph Cotton, or Angela Lansbury, because they're all main ingredients in our next film. And that film is Gaslight from MGM in 1944. It's the film in which Angela, at age 18, made her big screen debut and the movie that earned Ingrid Bergman her first Academy Award when she was 28 and enjoying her first acknowledgement as a skilled and beautiful actress. And if a role ever demanded acting skills, this next one does. Ingrid runs the gamut in this movie from a fluttery young girl in love to a woman terrified she may be going mad. And in this story, she indeed may be because no one else sees the gaslight in a room flickering strangely at odd hours. No one else seems to hear those footsteps in the attic, an attic that's been locked and abandoned for years. Now, an earlier film version of the same story had been made in England with actress Diana Winyard, and it had also been done as a play on Broadway called Angel Street with Judith Evelyn and Vincent Price. And interestingly, it wasn't Ingrid Bergman who was first announced to star in the movie. Irene Dunn was supposed to do it, but she was then tied up on another MGM film, The White Cliffs of Dover, which overlapped with the shooting schedule for Gaslight. So then MGM contract star Hedy Lamarr was announced for the role. But by the time filming started, MGM had borrowed Ingrid from her boss, David O. Selznick, and some screen history was indeed made. So if you haven't seen this movie, you may wonder if Ingrid deserved the Oscar for it. It's a question you won't ask once you've seen the film. Guaranteed. So here, magnificently, directed by George Cukor, based on the play Angel Street by Patrick Hamilton, from MGM in 1944, we bring you Gaslight.